So during the golden age of Magic the Gathering, and yes, I do really think it was a golden age, we had an individual called the Mana Source and Wedge. He was basically a bigger version of Tolarian Community College. And him and Tolarian Community College were best friends. They did everything together from promotions and puker trade to the monthly magic box. Anything one of them did, the other one did. And in my belief, based on private conversations with the mana source and private conversations with uh, in, within the Facebook group we were part of, it did seem that they actually were real genuine friends, which is rare in the magic community among content creators, right? A lot of fake people, but yeah. It seemed that they actually enjoyed each other. They went to conventions each other. They, they always tweeted each other and so on. So their interaction was really, really crazy. And if anyone knows where this guy is, uh, it would be Tolarian Community College. Now, what did this guy do that was so bad? In the beginning, I didn't think he was a bad guy, but after he started making play mats and more play mats, and he, he understood that he can milk. There's a show called on TLC, yes, the Learning Center, <laughs> uh, Honey Boo Boo Show, um, called Thousand Pound Sister or something. And it's about two sisters and they were a thousand pound each and that's the concept of the st story. And they would constantly ask for donations for a new laptop. They would, uh, they faked one of these sisters funeral so they could get more donations. That's the type of thing that is going on here is that the Manor Source found a community that was very generous with him because he has set himself up as a very anti-Donald Trump. You know, if you don't like Trump, donate me money. You don't like Trump, donate me money. Uh, and I remember two stories I'm gonna tell, both involving young ladies that he had convinced to move or marry him. Um, the first case was there was a young lady in Florida. She was a smaller Twitch streamer. She was a smaller YouTuber. Uh, and so he had the social clout at the time, right? He was a he was a big boy, if you will. And he convinced her to leave Florida with her friends and family at the time to move to uh, to move to upstate New York, where he lived with his parents. He never had a job before, and essentially they just hung out in his basement twenty four seven. It it must have been a terrible existence, right? Uh, to be uprooted from your family and then, you know, to have to like live with this guy. So eventually she broke up with him. She found a job at a casino and so on. And, and again, she moved on with her life and you know, good on her, right? So then he found another young lady in the UK. And after being told by his doctor not to go, not to go, not to go. And then the whole idea of him never having a job was he had back pains, he had IBS. There was so many reasons that he cannot stay in public very long, right? So now he's going to go to one convention and then he's going to go to GP Vegas where he would meet this young lady in the UK for the first time. So I think they had dinner together, that ex expensive dinner together, and then bam, disaster hits and he has injured himself apparently in a life or death scenario. That was what everyone was saying. And Tolarian Community College was like, oh my gosh, we got to donate money to this guy. Guys, everyone donate money, everyone donate money. I remember that very clearly, that he was like a, the main cheerleader for this. So a lot of money gets raised, I, exorbitant. So when these two thousand pound sisters are trying to raise money, they're trying to raise like $800, okay? When Wedge w raised money, he raised like half a mil. And there was the GoFundMe, which was only a small part of it. There was the additional Patreon money that he received, which he still receives today. There was the, um, what was it called? The checks from the sponsors at the event, Channel Fireball, TCG Play. I mean, these people would tweet, oh my gosh, are you okay, Wedge? We're gonna donate $5,000 to you. Um, and there was other, a lot of people buying cards and things to support him. And there was other channels raising money for him. But I don't know if Tawana Community College raised money himself under his name or if he just told people to donate to these other places. There was even tournaments that would raise money for Weds. That was how popular of individual he was. And you know, that there was a whole idea that did wait, did he actually get injured? Uh, that was something the quarterling, MTG headquarters, or now we would know him as the quarterling, he pointed out that the guy might not actually be injured. 
and he wanted receipts and the receipts that we got were, I mean, again, without his personal information, it just didn't seem to match up very well. So there was a whole mystery, a whole detective series, right? And he's just waiting at home, you know, waiting uh, at home to collect his money. As soon as the money collects, he does something very interesting. He stops tweeting. Prior to this time, Donald Trump is president and he tweets at Donald Trump at least a few times a day. And his Twitter is still up, so you can kind of look. He, I mean, th this guy is extremely active on Twitter. Uh, I mean, it's not one of those scenarios where the guy is not tweeting. The guy is absolutely tweeting a storm and he's getting riled up. He's, you know, again, as soon as the money clears, because it takes money, uh, at, at this point, it takes money for GoFundMe to verify that this all is real. Money gets deposited through his bank account. He goes off to the UK. He honestly leaves the country does not delete his accounts, but his accounts are gone. Like he does not upload a new video. He does not tweet, which is a big one. And then he's just gone from the magic community with no announcement to no tweet. I mean, it all only it would take a Twitter. It would only take him one time. Hey guys, I'm leaving the community. I, you know, am starting my new life in the UK. Thank you guys. He never had any of that. There was no closure as to what actually happened except the fact that he took everyone's money and then left. This is something that Tolarian Community College has never ever talked about, even though this is his best friend. I would guess that if the Mana Source didn't take that leap of faith with Tolarian Community College, Tolarian Community College doesn't quit his community college job. They took that leap of faith together and that was a decision they made by themselves. But it wasn't a decision. It was more like, hey, I'm here to support you. You're here to support me. Let's go and get our money, all right? So the reason no one talks about this is because it's very closely linked to your favorite YouTuber, Tolarian Community College, because at some point when he's asking for these donations for Weds, he's got to take responsibility that the guy just left. I know Weds is his own individual. He thinks differently. Again, I understand all of this, right? I mean, it's not beyond me to have that understanding that yes, Weds is a unique individual. And I mean, even Tolarian Community College knew what's going on. It's unlikely that he would have been able to stop him. But the more time that passes, the more like, I, th the, I think logically, this is a guy who was addicted to social media, addicted to YouTube fame, and he gave it all away for half a million dollars. Long term, probably not a good idea, but uh, not again, not the smartest guy in the barn, right? but he really did steal half a million dollars in the magic community with absolutely no repercussions. And it's still unknown, at least I am still skeptical whether or not there was a real injury or not. It just seemed very convenient that at the biggest magic event, you injured yourself. And everyone at that magic event is hearing about the injury. You injured yourself right before the magic event launches, you know, the Thursday before the Friday and so on. And then suddenly everyone donates a shit ton of money to you. They donate cash, they donate cards, they donate uh, GoFundMe's, they sell you. I mean, the amount of money the guy probably received, again, I, I have to imagine it's north of 500,000 total. Um, because this was a life or death situation that he needed money for. He was in a different state. <laughs> Guys, 